when two opening batsmen come to the crease playing for the same team you're not saying that the two batsmen are clashing with them each other they are playing for a single team so we're playing for hindi cinema while one player might hit the fours and sixes but the others the other other player will be at the crease and take ones and twos and maintain the strike one of the trailers from 2023 that immediately impressed me was when the sam bahadur teaser had dropped i was in awe of what vicky kaushal was capable of especially in imbibing the distinct character traits of india's first field marshal sam maniksha it never in the slightest seemed gimmicky or an impersonation of the legendary figure who has been such an active part of our modern indian history having faith in a creator like meghna gulzar i with abundant anticipation walked into the theater wondering how the director will be able to cover the monumental contribution by the man across decades in a feature film the film of course focuses on late sam maniksha his recruitment to the indian army before independent india his active participation in world war 2 and the several strides made by him as an active soldier and a leader across states in the new independent india specifically the 1962 war the civil war in conflict in assam with the mnf and most importantly his contribution in leading india to victory in the 1971 war I was immediately in awe of the authenticity in terms of the portrayal of the Indian Army and the several battalions and just the manner in which they greet their commanding officers. The opening sequence presenting Sam Maniksha as the hero he is and the respect he commands from his fellow soldiers. I think the most intimidating task for Vicky Kaushal in acing this role was more than just executing the distinct body language of Sam Maniksha. It was actually about truly imbibing the distinct personality of the revered figure who was charming, cheeky, was quick on his feet with his one liners and wit and this is something that can seem pretentious when executed by actors but from the first frame you can notice that Vicky had fully immersed himself in being that charming figure who has stories for days and is the center of attention in parties especially popular with the opposite sex for especially viewers who have a fascination for India's evolution over the years the film truly is a treat as i was so intrigued in exploring the functioning of the Indian army while it was still under british rule and and the ramifications one had to deal with dependent on their foreign policy especially when you put into context that Sam Maniksha came from the shackles of death while fighting in the Burma front during the second world war it's truly a miracle one wouldn't believe the same if it was a fictional character what also gets quickly established is the main character's personality is extremely equipped to be a leader knowing very well how to lead by example rather than using force or intimidation the balance between Sam Maniksha's personal and professional life life is also dealt with sensitivity and ease never making you feel like it deviates the attention from truly celebrating the figure in this case sanya malhotra as silu maniksha also puts forth such a commendable performance highlighting the emotional turmoil spouses also have to deal with as army men are constantly put in life or death situations the charm and charisma of their first meeting portrayed through the song itni si baat is beautifully portrayed The criticism of the film consolidating so much information in such little time and not being able to give justice to each chapter from history is sadly true. Sam Maniksha and his life deserves a series across episodes and seasons. His contribution across decades and his anecdotes on how he dealt with politicians and enemy forces cannot possibly be condensed into a feature film. While the creators of Sam Bahadur do their best in their 2 hour and 30 minute running time, you also do get a feeling, especially before for the onset of the 1971 war that you are sitting through a history crash course this creates a distance between the storytellers and the viewers which needs time to breathe sink in as the volume of his work is far too vast to do justice in such little time what i also love about the film is that it is truly a dedication to the indian army and a true patriot in the form of sam maniksha never in the slightest do you feel that his dedication and loyalty to his country is wavered i love the depiction of the kashmir extension by hari singh as it portrayed how if the indian army did not act in a steadfast manner the state would be susceptible to the pakistani army in cahoots with militants taking over shrinagar that's what i love that the politics of the film has no ill intention and the aim is to solely put portray Sam Maniksha's unparalleled work towards protecting India and what's even more brilliant about the man is how he protected his soldiers from disciplinary inquiries see as i list his accomplishments you'll realize it's 
slightly overwhelming to wonder whether they fully pull off everything. And that's the only stumbling block with the film. Because you momentarily feel a sense of victory at a particular junction, but the makers are compelled to move on to the next chapter immediately. It is in Indra Gandhi's reign and the active involvement in West Bengal where the film really goes in high gear, where you are witness to the brutality of Pakistan in East Pakistan and how India was compelled to act for the sake of the 7 million refugees who were at the mercy of the leadership of Yahya Khan. This is the most moving portion of the film in my opinion, where not only is Sam Manikshaw's leadership put to test, but his relationship with Indra Gandhi is explored, where Fatima Sana Sheikh does put her best foot forward, especially in the several interactions she shares with Vicky. You must realize that Manikshaw was so influential at this point that the Prime Minister actually feared a coup against her government. That was the respect and influence that he commanded. The film truly is not only a celebration of the man, but the Indian army. The term unity and diversity perfectly encapsulates us as a nation and the same is portrayed in a beautiful song called Badte Chalo representing the several battalions of the Indian Army. While the film does find it tough to consolidate so many achievements of the revered figure, I did not find it even at the slightest boring as many people are claiming. That's the beauty of this weekend in terms of the movies offered by Hindi cinema. There's something for everyone. And that was the video guys. Write down in the comments below what you thought about Sam Bahadur. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram, the handle's right in front of you, follow me at jammypants4. Also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.